Hello everyone, welcome back to Luna Studios. First of all, go and subscribe to my new channel Pakhtun Geek. Subscribe to Luna Studios, hit the bell icon. Please, please, please hit the thumb up down below. It won't cost you anything, but it helps me a lot. So in today's tutorial, we are going to learn this. First create a new comp, create a new text layer, center it, now duplicate the text layer, disable the lower one, select top one, press enter key and change text to T. Duplicate T and change it to E. Duplicate E and change it to X. We are going to use the same T two times. Now select T and right click and select Precompose. Double click T, zoom in. Select Pen tool and make sure nothing is selected in timeline. Then make a rough mask around the top layer like this. You can make it perfect and play around it uh, when it's created. Now on top click stroke, change it to none. Click on fill and select white color. After this deselect everything and go to pen tool and create mask for the remaining part of T. So after we are done with the whole letter T, hide the original T. Select pen tool and play around with the letter to make it perfect. So now let's animate the letter. Select pen behind tool shortcut is Y and move to the left side because we want it to reveal from that side. Similarly push the other layer anchor point to the top. Name both layers so it's gonna be easy to work with. Now go to scale property, make sure to deselect this thing. Go to 20th frame and make a keyframe. Come back to the first frame and change X axis value to 0. Select last keyframe, right click, go to keyframe assistant, select easy ease. Now go to graph editor, select scale and push ease of last frame to extreme. Do the same with bottom layer too but make sure to change y axis value to 0. Now time both of them perfectly. Now duplicate each of them two times. Go to first top layer, change fill color to red. Go to second top layer and change fill color to yellow. Leave the third top layer white. Do the same with bottom layers too. Now put the difference of about 4 frames between these layers so they don't start at the same time. So here we are done with first letter. Now go to the main comp, hide T and enable E, pre-comp it. Go to the comp, create mask for every single piece you want. Make rough mask and edit them with arrow keys after they are created. Name each of them.
Move the anchor point to places where you want its motion to start from. Same 20th frame, same X axis. Easy is the last keyframe. So now these three layers are done. Now I'm going to put anchor point of side layer at the middle and animate its scale. Now time each of these layer in accordance to every other layer. So now same two duplicates red and yellow color those four frames difference and we are done with this one too. Pre-compose X and go to X comp. Create simple two masks. Name them. Move the anchor points. I'm doing simple scale animation here. For that bounce effect, I use this motion to script from MoGraph, but you can manually do such animation. You can check my ball bounce tutorial to get the idea for such motions. Same duplicates and color changes but if you are doing bounce make just two keyframe difference cause four frames don't look quite good with bounce. And we are done here too. Go to original comp. Now enable the original text layer and lower its opacity. Place each of the letter in place. Duplicate T and put it above every layer and place it at the end. Now we have something like this. Now select top 3 layers and parent it to the first T. Make keyframe for position property at around uh, 20th frame. Come back to the first frame and move the layer like this. Easy is the first layer. Easy is the last one to extreme. Play around with the keyframes to make it perfect. So congrats we are here. If you like this tutorial please hit the thumb up. Love this tutorial hit the subscribe subscribe button comment down what you want next tutorials about subscribe to pakhtungi subscribe to luna studios till next video signing out peace